Welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then uh, in this session, uh, we are going to have a look at uh, the back-to-back -back buy. And then uh, in many emission instances, it is giving a lot of problems. And then uh, I will now provide a small workaround so that what happens, you'll be in a position to do it properly. So let us go there and then have a look at it. So if you go on then, first of all, I have already done all the setups actually. So I'm just uh, showing you only what is there in this place. Now, fine. I will now click on the star icon. I go to the product information management. So try this workaround. And then if it is working, it's good. Otherwise, you switch over to some other instance for the back-to-back -back buy. <laughs> you go there and then let me query my item over here now. <clears throat> So go there. I will now go to the uh, manage browse items. So let me go to the browse items. <clears throat> Let's go to the browse items. And then I'm going to make a query now. So this is P50 underscore B2B by actually. So let me query the item. It has also been assigned to the child or find the P50 underscore B. And then make a search now. It is assigned to the master and child. No created the master, no assigned to the child. I, know that. I applied a normal template for creating this item actually. So whatever a default template came in, I just applied it. <clears throat> and then go there. Fine. It is a finished good template, which is there. I go to the specifications. So in the specifications on the manufacturing area, <clears throat> fine. Just ensure that the costing enabled, which is an item defining attribute, is on, and then the corresponding status attribute is our inventory asset value by which it becomes an inventory asset actually. So these two attributes are on or not. You just make a check of it. And then afterwards, you go to the inventory. You go to the inventory. In the inventory area, uh, the inventory item stock, transactable, enabled, and unreserved, all these things will be on. They're all on. And then afterwards, I go to the sales and order management. Since it is a back-to-back -back buy, it has been enabled now. Remember, you need to have a license for doing it now. Fine, back-to-back -back buy. Since vision lenses are all fully licensed, so it works on. So back to back enabled is this. And then the customer ordered is an item defining attribute. And then the customer order enabled is a status attribute. So these two things must be on. Now. <clears throat> and then afterwards, you see that uh, order management transaction is enabled for it. And then the shippable is enabled. And then the invoice is also enabled. Fine. And then the invoice, invoice and invoice enabled is again item defining attribute and the status attribute. So they're, they're all enabled. Afterwards, you go to the planning. <clears throat> In the planning, what happens? You go there. In this place, what happens? You see that the planning time for this 50 days. <clears throat> and then here, uh, the planning method is the MRP planning. So these two things you have to set. This is okay, sufficient now. And then afterwards, I go to the purchasing. Right, purchasing. <clears throat> so now here, the list price is required. Otherwise, since I'm going to make a buy, the list price is required. So I will now simulate by removing it now. Fine, I will now remove it. And then I will now simulate the error and then show it to you. Fine. And then afterwards, these are the three attributes which have been added in the fusion actually. It is not there in EBS. So allow substitutes, allow unordered, and then allow express point, and then I guess. So I'm now simulating an error over here. Okay? This is a must. So if you have a PRPO automation, then this is not required. Otherwise, we need to have a list price actually. The list price has been removed now. So I will now give a save and close on this one. Save and close. These are all the only attributes which are required for a back to back buy now. Which was a before. And then I will now show you the error over here now, fine. When uh, the SCO error will come in. So since uh, these people have now made it as org controlled, so let me go there in the org level also, I will now remove it. These attribute, the purchasing price is always a master control one, but uh, people have fiddled around and then uh, they made a change now. I will now go to the specifications. I will now go to the specifications. And in the specification, what happens? I go to the purchasing and then remove the list price. Had it been master control, you cannot even touch it actually. Fine. Uh, go on and save and close. And then afterwards, I kept a stock. I kept a stock of around only one quantity actually. Fine. To demonstrate this. So go there. Click on the now. <clears throat> I will now go to the area. Fine. Click on the star icon. And then I have already added everything onto the favorites actually. Fine. Keep it everything on the favorites so that what happens, it will be very fast for you to query upon now. So go there. Go to the inventory overview. <laughs> and then here, I will now go on and check the stock of it. So the item is now created, and then afterwards I kept a stock over here on the 001 R group.
So go to the place. And then I go to the man at the item corner and say, query for the item now. So we have a stock of only one actually. <coughs> go there. It's a P50. Right? Underscore B and then give a tap. And that will be coming now. So now have a look at the stock and click on search now. You'll be getting it. So I have a stock of only one corner. So having done this, fine, having created the item and then having done the quantity. So what you do is you go there and then collect it actually. So perform a collection. So click on the form icon, you go to the supply chain planning and then perform a collection. So go to space. Fine. So go to space. Go to the supply chain planning and then plan inputs. Since I'm doing on a 001 org, it's okay. Fine. Otherwise, the org need to be enabled for collection actually. So go to the place, supply chain planning, and then go to the plan inputs. So if you're going to create your own org on your own structure, then what you have to do is you go there, click on it. <clears throat> and then you go to the manage planning source systems is a navigation now. On the task list, you go to the manage planning source systems. So you go to the manage planning source systems there. You go to the OPS now. Fine. You go to the OPS. So manage planning source systems. And then choose the OPS now. Fine. OPS is the one. Fine. Otherwise, everybody on the Oracle integration cloud, so many people are working. So, so many things are enabled here actually. Ah. Is the OPS now fine? Select the OPS and then click on the manage organization list. And then once we go in, you click on the refresh organization first of all. And then here each organization starts with a zero zero and then make a selection. And then you're searching for it. So it's now showing all the orgs now fine. So zero zero one Seattle is now enabled actually. And then these guys have even enabled for whatever say, your 000 also, but it's not required. My master org is not required. So they have enabled it for all the child org. And then you have to perform a collection actually. Fine. Click on cancel the fine. So if you are going to do on your own order, first of all, enable it for collection actually. And then afterwards, perform a collection. So go to this place, fine. Click on it. Then I'll go to the manage planning source systems. So collect planning data. And then here, uh, the system is having a problem. Normally, what you do is you collect only selectively collect now. But if you do it in the in the client location, it will be okay. But in vision, it is giving a problem. So go to the OPS and then make it the targeted. So we can selectively collect for a OPS for a targeted one. Fine, go there. I will not choose the item over here. Bring it in. And then you go to the supply planning data. <clears throat> and then on end. Fine. Selectively collecting will be very fast actually. Here do it. But here it is giving a problem. I found out. So what you do is you go there and then collect everything. On the subject data. and then the reference data also you collect everything because we have to succeed and so uh, since many people have done so many modifications it needs a full collection actually for it to work on the vision action and then click on submit if you submit it it will not take approximately half an hour's time i've already submitted and so i'm not submitting it again thank you very much so once when you submit it you wait for everything fine the last concurrent is what worker to delete stage data so once when it's completed what happens go there you will now go to the plan inputs page main page and then query for your item, it will now show you that it is correct actually. P50, fine, underscore B, fine, starts with, and then click on search now, it will now show you here now. So this has to come over here now, fine. It is now showing you on both orgs because even the master is enabled for collection actually. So this is the first success which you have to get now, fine. It, it must be available. So after having uh, created the item and then on hand and then made a collection, it, it has to come over here. Okay, fine. So if it is not coming, then you drop this instance and then go to some other instance because it has to come over here. Fine. First of all, if it is not coming, fine. Because many people have done so much of R and D or this, no, fine. And sometimes it doesn't even come over here. So this is the first success page actually. Fine. And then afterwards, what happens? Give a cancel. <clears throat> so having done this, we will now go to the GOP setup. Now, fine. Click on it. I will now show you the GOP setup. I will now go to the place. Fine. I will now go to the order management area. <clears throat> I will now go to the order management area. So do a full collection, I find that is a better actually. Because uh, in the client instances, full collection, selectively collecting is okay. I will not go to the global order promising. Again, you need a license for it. If you don't have a license, it will not work at all in the client location. If the client instance is not having a license for GOP, then it will not work at all. Even though it will not allow you to set it up, but it will not work at all. You need a license. So on the global order promising, I will not go to the global order promising area. <clears throat> Let me go over there. And then there. I will now go to the manage ATP rules. Something. Click on it. I will now go to the manage ATP rules. I have already created the rule now. 
ஸோ உங்களுக்கு அந்த மேனேஜ் டிவி ஹோட்ஸ் அந்த நான் உங்களுக்கு கேட்டிருக்கேன் ஸோ கோதே ஐ வில் நோ கொரி மை பி ஃபிஃப்டி நோ ஃபைன் பி ஃபிஃப்டி அந்த மேக் அ சர்ச் ஃபார் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் சர்ச் யூ ஆர் சர்ச்சிங் ஃபார் இட் அண்ட் தென் இட் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி தேர் ஃபேங்க் கிளிக் ஆன் தி So what I have given is what on the ATP rule criteria, I have enabled all the D and then enabled all the supply sources and then all the demand sources and then I put 50-50 over here with the user defined. Find this sufficient. This will be fully explained in the planning training actually. When you undergo your planning training, they will give you a lot of insight into this. Right? It is a supply chain availability such now. Right? You order. And then go there. So having done this, I go there, go to the ATP rule assignments. And then for every back-to-back, we have to have an item organization assignment. And then if it is going to be a configured order, all the model model as well as the standard components must have an entry now and that i already explained everything and go there and how over it right in just for my previous video so all the models the option classes need not have a, need not have to have an entry so now the back to back item has already been added it must be an item org level there are multiple levels are there they will all be discussed during planning training fine there are three modules on planning supply planning demand planning and then sales and operations planning so when you are learning it whatever you will be doing and then i now assign the item to 0015 this is all this thank you to cancel now <coughs> so click on the now now part of another puri da unake yeah yeah unak puri da na part of another de vannu puri illaya yeah enak eppadi theriyadha okay you go to the marriage sourcing rules click on the manage sourcing rules the next activity is what manage sourcing rules we go there so p50 <clears throat> so click on search so you are searching for it you got two rules okay one is what you are going to buy it okay both the rules are global actually fine click on it and click on later so make a buy <clears throat> so it is a buy rule now fine click on it buy rule go there click on it it is a global one and then date and then here whatever you are going to buy it from abc consultants abc us1 site fine and then put the supplier side source system as ops fine it is very important to do it and then 100% and one my <coughs> shipping method is not important so the first rule is no made fine so see to that you are now putting this ops also and click on cancel the next one is what you go to the transfer customer fine with the code and click on it it's very easy so once the edit here what happens we are going to transfer it is again a global rule and go there and then go there it is a transfer from 001 to customer actually so <coughs> these two things are made now <coughs> so having done the sourcing rules no fine so for ba- make buy and transfers you will have two two rules actually and then uh, for a drop ship you will have only one rule remember for a drop ship you will be having only one rule thank you and cancel it is not done then what happens you go there this is the place that go there to connect and then you go to what uh, manage assignments sets no fine click on the manage assignment sets and then i am going over there manage assignment sets <laughs> So in the assignment set, I have already created one assignment set. Find P50 and then entry now. So this assignment set, find go and click on it. So you'll be having two entries. So first is what at the item org level, I'm going to buy it from the supplier, find ABC, ABC, ABC consulting, and then I will now receive it on 001 org. And then afterwards, at the item level is always shipped to customer actually. At the item level, I'm choosing the transfer and go there. I'm going to ship it. So these two things have been made. and then afterwards since i have created my own assignment set i have modified the profile also fine they cancel i have now modified the profile thank you very much so i have now modified the profile so click on it no i don't that i will not go to the main one so this is the three setups which are there in the global order promising one is the manage adp rules and then sourcing rules and then assignment set now so you go to the setup and maintenance and then come into the uh, what's called fsm area So from the FSM area, you go to the generic search of the task, task generic task. You go there. So I go to the setup and maintenance. So in the meantime, what about I will now right click and then duplicate. We will now have multiple tab regions open. I will click on the task list and then go to the search. <clears throat> so go to the search and then here you go there. You go to the manage. Fine. So manage person which fine admin profile. So go to the manage admin profile. Do what? <clears throat> so go to the manager administration profile here you choose msp default and then choose us if you use the systems global order promising again so much of a what about the corruption is no made fine over so uh, you can try that also otherwise what about you go there and then change it to fine msp default msp default is the one <laughs> and then here i have already changed it to what mine so the system uses global order promising fine if you don't want to change you can even uh, what about the put your assignments on the global order promising Otherwise, you make it. 
So these setups are now complete for the GOP. Now. And then again, the workflow has been fiddled around by the people. Now, right? So what I did is I will not go to the manage my order lookups. Many people are fiddling around on the workflow actually. So let us now drive it with our own flow now. Our own workflow will not drive it. I will go to the manage order lookups. Manage order lookups the task. So here I will now query for what? ORA DOO line type. ORA DOO line is the one I am querying it now. So I created one on the ORA DOO line type. I created one P50 default do. So with a plus, you can put it on the put that in the meaning and description. So one default do I am going to fire. So I create a line type actually. So create your own line type actually. First of all, the first activity is created. Right and then afterwards, what happens? You go there. <clears throat> and then we will now create a rule for driving our own do now. Fine. It's called manage percentage, sales percentage, fine. Order percentage. You go to the manage sales order. You go to the manage process assignment rules for sales orders. So there, I have already created it. With the plus, you can very well create a rule now. Fine. And then we can now see the P50 default rule. Fine. This is the one I created. Fine. With the new create new rule, you can do it now. Fine. Click on it. We can even give a name and then a description. Fine. Name is given, description is given. Fine. Actions and then I will now edit. Fine. Initially, what happens, it will not go there. I am now editing it and then I am going to have a look at it. The start date has been given. Activate rule is also there. Fine. The start date and activate. So that will be doing it afterwards. Now. Fine. So go there. I will not edit the rule. <clears throat> Actions. So the editing is now going on. Now, now going to go into the edit mode. So go there. And then this is the edit mode. Now. So I have now written a if condition again. Fine. If condition. So let me, what happens? I will, now, I will not save it. Fine. Let me create it and show it you because what happens? It will be somewhat a, a tricky one now. Fine. That. So click on create new rule. <clears throat> I will not show you, but how to get a rule now. I will not say click on the new rule name now. Fine. I will not say. <clears throat> Nana rule for fine default do. So give a meaningful name always now. Fine, click on OK. So give a name on this for default rule. And then click on the what happened, the rule name is now done. Fine. You click on it. <laughs> and then here I will now say line type. I will now put line. And then line type, I'm choosing it. So go there. So I'm not choosing line type. And then drop down, I will now choose my created line type now. P51. So click on OK. So if on the sales order, if I'm going to have this as a line type, then click on then and then click on do. Click on do. <clears throat> so I'm not doing enough. Right? So go there. Then do. So there, here I will now write the process name. Thank right? you. Click on it. Click on it. And then action, which I'm going to do is what? Process name. So put process name, it will be coming now. Click on it. The process name is coming. And then click on the magnifier icon on this one. And click on the magnifier icon. And then there, you search for do now. Do. And then make a search. Search, search for it. It will be showing so many things. So we'll be using what? The default do now. So do order generic equipment process. Right? Okay. So what is what is fine. So the rule is ready. So the moment I put this as a line type on my sales order, so my sales order will be driven by this generic do actually and not by that. Systems do because systems do so many people are already modified. So let us now drive it by the generic do it. So give a save and close. I'm not saving it now. Fine, give a cancel now. So cancel. So you had to save and close. And then uh, the rule modified. Do you want to save? Do you want to save before closing? No, I don't want to save. I don't want to save. So afterwards, what happens? It will be coming over here. And then it will now come like this now, fine, with a, no green color at all. So what you have to do is you have to go there. And then uh, on the, if there is no green color, activate the rule and then give a start date. Fine. Give a start date and then save and close and give a start date. And then if you give a save and close, it will now become a green color like this. I'm not doing it. Right? I'm, not, I'm just demonstrating it. So it will now become a green color. Right? So in this place also, it's already done now. Right? Default do. So I've activated it and then given a start date and then I've given a save and close also. After having done this, what happens? You publish it. You publish it. Now all the setups of the BDB uh, is now fully complete now. Right? <clears throat> now what you do is you log out and log in. Right? You better log out and log in. So I'm I have not done anything at all yet. So because I'm only showing you fine other orders. So click on the star icon and then here, what you're going to do is I will now go to the manage orders. And then after logging out and logging in, I'm now going to create a sales order directly. So let us now go on and create a sales order. So click on the create order. 
and one more thing i forgot so this has to be collected actually and we had to collect it actually and the uh, uh, gop is, has to be collected whatever you had done on the gop has to be collected and that one so click on it and go there you have to collect this also <clears throat> so i will now again go to the manage supply supply chain planning and go to the supply chain planning i go to the supply chain planning and then you go to the plan inputs and then we had again collected actually so this is known as the order orchestration reference object fine the three setups you have the adp rule the sourcing rules assignment set as well as your profile now fine this is known as the order orchestration reference object you go to the correct and then correct only one now fine you go to the correct and correct only one so go there i don't know what to collect collect planning data and collect it so we are going to collect only one mm. and again it is not working properly in the vision fine even if you collect only one and it doesn't work fine what are the ops <clears throat> you go there make it to the targeted no get it but then here we have to collect only what order orchestration reference object for all the gop setup set but it is not working it is not giving lot of uh, what i mean it is not exactly progressing on the workflow so what you do is second time also you make a full collection and again it is going to take a longer time fine may half an hour for you to collect it actually so what to do fine we have to succeed on as no fine because so many people are modifying it and then so it is not getting correct fine and then correct both the supply and reference data fully actually fine a full collection is ensuring that what happens it is not giving any problem while you are running it in field it is not so fine you can make a selectively correct it will definitely work because your uh, client instance is not correct actually nobody has corrupted it so it will work so this collection is required and then after collecting after the final uh, uh, data is what worker to delete stage data is the final uh, user's job and then once when that completes you log out and log in right you log out and log so go there click on it you sign out and sign in <clears throat> so go there sign out and sign in so uh, you do it and then so that the changes to take effort no fine don't sign out and then sign in so click on that go there and then click on sign in you're signing in so now you go and then create a order so all the setups everything is now complete fully now and you know go and make it work so click on the star icon i have a stock of order remember go there go to the manage orders you are going to buy now from abc consulting is a supplier from whom you are going to make a buy now and click on the manage manage orders and then you will now make a buy back to back buy the one you going to do it will not go there so in the favorites i have already added the manage orders is coming right <clears throat> so click on the create order and then do it so click on the create order on the right in five top then go there so drop it down i will now choose my business unit now first of all the first activity is to choose the business unit and then put the customer as a comp and com sometimes if you put com it will be coming if it is still not coming comp not coming fine put one more p fine it will come computer service lens so once when this is done the remaining field will be populated just to ensure that your pricing segment and strategy are getting populated or not if that is also not getting done then what about somebody has fiddled around on the pricing and so it may not work properly at all <clears throat> and i have given all it is price of one fine you go to the actions and then go to the view pricing segment and strategy fine make a check whether you are having these values or not corporate segment group 1 and then corporate pricing strategy group one fine these are the strategy and uh, segment name fine so if they are coming that means what everything is okay and then let us now put the item i have given all it is price of one in the sales order so p50 underscore b and then i give it up so one is, so we have a stock of one and then by default it will not take a stock of one only and then it will now say it is in stock it is in stock <clears throat> so the in stock and then other things are applicable only for gop enabled data fine no saying in stock So let us now go for twenty quantities. Let us now go for twenty quantities. Twenty and then give it up. So once we give it, it will now say we have a low inventory availability of one only. You want twenty, but we have only one available. Fine. This is not correct. So this information is applicable only for a back to back. Fine. All the back to back items will be giving you this information. Fine. If it is not a non, if it is not a back to back item, sometimes it may show data not retrieved. It may show in stock. It may show uh, what happens out of stock. so whatever information it is giving for a non back to back enabled is meaningless actually so this field is not applicable for any other item only for back to back item only we have to rely upon the data so 
what uh, our, my students have done is what for a non back to back item fine they have added one dabba here fine the dabba so the moment the person put his item and then give a tap on this dabba it will not show you what is the on and actually so you can very well customize it you talk to technical so technical will now uh, help you in creating one more box here and then whatever item has been selected that items the current on and is retrieved from the database and then populate over here many students have done it actually with the help of technical so you do a sandbox with a sandbox what am i incorporate that that will be very useful for the csr so the customer service representative who is now discussing with the end client customer so the moment the customer asks for he will know know at least how much of stock is there basically whether to go ahead or not fine that much of information will be there so the price is one so it's 20 dollars so we have only one available fine click on add i'm adding it <clears throat> so customize the form with the help of technical so that it will be giving a good value addition for the csr who is going to create the sales order actually so the line is getting added thank you so here in this place if you go there normally we provide the supply now we normally provide the supply <clears throat> but here supply is not required because it is uh, totally driven by the do now fine the do is now rather gop the do the gop is not saying no warehouse is required now you go there let us now drive the total sales order with our do now fine not the uh, generic do fine you go over there so go there in the line type fine if it is not visible what you do is you go to the view and then go to the columns and then here you put a tick mark on the line type now fine line type i already put a tick mark so once when you put view columns and then line type what happens it will be coming now i've done it it's not coming fine, line type is not visible so it's not coming select the line and then go to view and then go to columns and then choose the line type now let me drive it on my line type now so my day my name my line type is going to point to what the generic do now fine over so with what so choose it that's it fine click on submit so we are now driving the line with our do now fine click on submit you know submitting it. so once when you submit it it will now start to progress on our do our do is very blank actually fine it will not give a lot of problems so it normally works when you are using the system do it is giving a lot of problems with it so have your own do and then uh, have your own default do and then uh, that you process on this so by which what about the sales order is now submitted so let us now take up a notepad now so open up a notepad so here i have now put up the order number now. fine the order number is now going to progress on this okay so so we now note down the order number and then it is going to progress on this so 8998414 no fine it was it's called uh, sales order number 98414 no we don't okay so we now go inside and then have a look so we have a stock of one and so 19 quantities has to be ordered on the supplier actually and go to the actions and then go to switch to fulfillment view good please right click on the duplicate and keep multiple tab regions open so that what happens you'll be able to work very fast actually go there so go for the and then click on the do number fine on the fulfillment lines the do number is there fine click on the do number so it will be taking you to the generic area go there so the orchestration plan will be shown to you fine go there it will now first of all get scheduled fine because of the gop setup should be scheduled and remember we are not provided any warehouses on the main header right but even then it will be getting scheduled right click on the question right so it will be getting scheduled and then the reserve will now change to what orchestration of supply actually because it's a back to back um, buy actually in the case of drop shipment it will not change to procurement directly for drop shipment it will not go to the procurement but for a back to back buy it will not change to what uh, orchestration of supply something like that right? i'll forward it thank you it will change to what orchestration of supply along with the pass now the scheduling has started now it takes some time and then there will be one uh, what's called uh one pass will be coming now fine people option you know you need to complete it so here it is started but here it is not it started actually fine you have to wait for it now fine something so sometimes all of the workflows are really very slow and then uh, you won't what happens of find it uh, do it things fast now fine So here it is started. Here it is not even started actually. So we have to wait for it. And then here in this place, what happens? You go there. You will now go to one task. Now, fine, click on it. I have to go to one task. <clears throat> you will now go to the setup and maintenance. You will now go to one of the tasks actually. Setup and maintenance. So we have to go to one of the tasks. So click on it. so click on search fine click on search and then here i will now say manage percentage fine order 
percentage my parameter percentage so go to the manage order parameters so in this case what when you go on and refresh it you know see the scheduling has progressed or not it is still not started oh god it's so slow actually <laughs> instance is slower the workflow is slow i don't know if you go to the manage order manager parameters here you make one parameter as known actually manage order management parameters you go there is a percentage fine uh geo it was called geo party geo percentage so more than 20 part number geo party going to correct and was enable orchestration process planning and then geo party and make it as no what does it mean let us say the customer is asking for a material after 1 to 2 days so at that time what happens if the geo party is on then it will never be interface to shipping at all because there is no need to ship now so once when the order comes to nearer to the shipping area at the time when you recover the process what happens it will be getting interface likewise there are so many geo parties are there right if a company is very strict upon it then only what happens we had to set up those things right otherwise what happens the normal sales orders you make it as no right that is one so go to the place find click on refresh so refresh then this is now started but here it is it to start now find the scheduling it to start so now scheduling has started so once when the scheduling gets completed the reserve will now change to what orchestration of supply thank you for that the reserve will now change to orchestration of supply it will be getting completed because your gop setup is going to drive the thing now fine it is now getting scheduled in the appropriate warehouse actually the warehouse is 001 all right so it's now started so it will now get completed and then the reserve will now change to what uh, orchestration of supply and then here one more thing is there fine you see who is the preparer for procurement actually preparer is the preparer for procurement so who is the preparer for procurement so here for the us one business unit you had to have a add now fine if your business unit is not there you had to add it so calvin roth is the preparer so this guy he will be the purchase officer actually he is a purchase officer so he is the preparer for the so all so now the geo party is no and then the preparer for procurement is what the appropriate employee so click on refresh now fine refresh now it is now scheduling is going on so these two setups here to see fine the scheduling has gone completed now the reserve will now change to what or orchestration of supply it will not change to what request orchestration of supply it will not request orchestration of supply fine along with the past task so if the geo party is on if there is a problem it will not get it will be going to waiting now the past task will go to waiting so it is orchestration of supply fine request orchestration of supply so you go there and that will get completed the pass will now start and then there is no problem at all because we are not giving any problem in the geo fine geo party the geo party score and all is not applicable you know that so after this tick mark is there the pass will also get completed now the pass will also get completed and then it will be interface to purchasing right the supply, supply request is completed right the request orchestration supply is completed the pass will now start and then that will also get completed and then finally it will now go to awaiting shipping it so the pass is now going to start so wait for the pass to start now fine the pass has started and then that will get completed it will not get problem at all so click on the button in many instances the pass will get struck actually if it gets struck also it will be a very big problem so the pass is struck if the pass is now completed fine go there it will not go to the awaiting shipping if the pass gets struck what you do is you go there you can even what happens release the pass actually right? you go to the monitor process and then we can release the pass if by chance because of some geo party reasons whatever that is got stuck we can very well release the pass task actually we go to the monitor process and then click on the schedule new process and then we will not release the pass task with this we get stuck fine it will not say if it is something is going to say waiting now fine the pass all is going away and click on the fresh now fine the status will not go to awaiting shipping fine from supplier request complete what happens it will not go to awaiting shipping fine it will not go to awaiting shipping so in this place what happens you go there release pass task and then give it up release pass task release pass task so if it is getting stuck and then waiting it will be releasing it now fine right? click on okay now fine and give it and then we have to pass on the order order per number as a parameter now fine right? 98414 is the one and go to the place so here order number is what 98414 and then give it up and then click on submit so once when it gets submitted here what about the, the order will now, the pass will go to completed action i am not doing it because uh, it has not got struck for me no. so here do the release pass task So go there. So it is not done. Fine, click on refresh now. Now the system will now interface it to SCO area. 
the system will be interfacing the score here. Fine, go to the fulfillment lines and then have a look at it. And then have a look at the score order number. Go down. The fulfillment lines you go down now. Fine, you know, see the bottom, what happens here? Yeah, supply order is now created. It is now awaiting a supply actually. We are awaiting a supply actually. We are awaiting a supply for 20 numbers now. Please. So, so we have on on end of one and then 19 has to be ordered now. Fine. That, that will be coming now. Fine. On refresh. So refresh it. 19 has to be ordered on the supplier actually. And we have an on and of one. So it shows what it is not showing on and of one. Fine. Goods is available for one. And then 19 is the one. So when I refresh it only, what happens? It will not show. No, fine. After the order is created, it says goods are partially available. Fine. Goods are partially available. Now, what I do is I will not try to ship the one quantity over there. Fine. I will not go to the place. Let us not uh, what happens, uh, ship the one quantity. So give a cancel. So it says what goods is partially available, one is available, and then 19 is eligible for supply. So he, the purchase order will be graded on. So fine, click on it. Go to the price. So give a yes, no fine. Come on, wait. Let us now go to the inventory and then try to ship the one quantity. No fine. So click on that. No. <coughs> you go to this place. No fine. Click on it. You go to the place. <coughs> and again, see the instance must be good. Otherwise, what happens? You will not get all these results actually. Fine. <laughs> that is the biggest problem. But in the client's location, you will not have any problem at all. Otherwise, what happens? Somebody has fiddled around too much. Then what happens? These things will not happen at all. And the people are saying, "Sir, sir, sir, <laughs> whatever you are saying is not happening in my machine at all. Right? In my instance at all." So go to the inventory over you. <laughs> so it's the luck actually, right? Whichever instance you are working upon. So you have to drop down and switch over to the next instance. So I provided the maximum workaround so that what happens? You will not get struck, but even then you will still get struck actually. Go there. So go there, drop down, and then go to the shipments, and then you go to the managed shipment lines. You go to the managed shipment lines. I will not go and then query your order number. I am not going to query your order number. My nine eight four one four is the one. So nine eight four one four. You there. So make it as before, and then make a search. You are going to make a search. So we have an on and a one. Thank you on search. You are going to make a search. Thank you on search. <clears throat> So we are searching for the 98414 with the before, fine, it will be coming. So I will now go to actions and then go to launch speaker list, fine. So now the line has to get split into two now, fine. One for one quantity which is available and the 19 must be back ordered for an action. Launch speaker list. I am now launching the speaker list now. So the speaker list is now getting launched under that. So a concurrent is now running. Now. So wait for uh, approximately uh, 30 seconds on the screen before you give a save and close now, fine. Let me wait now. Whereas in the case of a back-to-back -back make, I found that this line itself is getting split in the sales order itself. For on, on, on end of one, what happens? Whereas here, the bottom it is showing as a split. But in the line level, it is not showing me a split actually. Fine. Click on refresh now. Fine. It is not showing me a split at all. Maybe this may be the business process. I am not sure about it. Or it is the instance problem or not. On a back to back make, it, it goes into two lines of one and 19 actually. So click on that. So here, it is not getting split at all. Fine. It is not getting split. And go there. So if you keep a refresh now, fine. There is only one line actually. Whereas in a back-to-back -back make, you see the radio record, fine. Right? That will be showing you a split actually. You go to actions and then go to switch to filament. So here the line is not getting split actually. And then we have already launched this now. Fine, right? long give a save and close now. Fine, right? there's a ready release. Fine, give a save and close. Fine, save and close. So the line has to split into one and nineteen. Fine, go that click on save and close. Now it is not touching the line at all. So the launch speak release is not working at all. So for a back-to-back -back, uh, purchase, what happens? Uh, you need to, what happens, it is, maybe, this may be the business process, I'm not very sure about it. Trying in events, if it is getting two lines split, it will be great actually. It's not happening. So now what I do is, I will now go to this place, I, that. I will now right click and then duplicate. Let us now go to the score area and then have a look at it. The score area will not show error actually. The score area will not show error. I go there. So I will now go to what, I will now go to the uh, supply chain execution, supply chain execution, and then I go to the score, fine, this is the score area. Supply chain orchestration. Thank you. So once when you go into the score area, supply chain orchestration, we will not query for the one for the item. Fine, we are going to query for the item. So click on it. No query for the item. So click on it. There is no query for the item. It is already showing over here. Uh, uh, there no go there. So click on the manage supply lines. Now it will not show you an error. No. The the list price is missing actually. And go to the place. I will not say it starts with and then I will not say P50 underscore B and then make a search. No, thank you for search. I'm not making a search. P50 underscore B. I'm not making a search. Go there. So here, what happens? Uh, previously, I've already done two lines. Now, fine. Right? These are all completed now. So they are all 
complete and fulfilled actually. Fine. So for the same one, I already I tested it with this now. Fine, it's all complete. Now these two lines are coming. Fine. So this line, fine. Well, this line will now show you stock of one. So the stock of one is coming in the bottom of this is 19 actually. So if you go on and see, the one line do not have any problem at all. Fine, we can very well ship it actually. So both of them are having a same score number only. But this line is having a price. A value must be there for the price that we do. Fine, the price that we do. So if it is not there, what happens? It is not giving error actually. So let us now go and then correct this one. Fine, go the right click and then duplicate. So let us now correct this error actually. <laughs> will not go there and then correct the error. <clears throat> okay, one. I will not go to the placement. I will not go to the product information management. <clears throat> one second. <clears throat> so let me go to the product information management and then let us now correct this error. Now. Let us now correct this error. So I am going to correct the error now. So go there. Fine. We'll go there. We will not query the uh, item and then we will not correct the error actually. We are not going to correct the error actually. So this is the area, fine. it is not picking at all. It has to get split into 1 and 19. Fine, that is not happening. Fine. So that somebody make an R&D and then see, you know, fine. Whether it is the instance problem or the business process itself is like this or not, I am not very sure about it. You go to what? Browse items and then query the item. And then let us now correct the, this thing now. Fine. The list price I will not give. So otherwise, you must have the PR PO automation in place now. Fine. If it is in place, then it will never throw any error wrong. This error will not come at all. It's for the 19 quantities. So go to the place. And go there. It's the P50. Fine. Underscore B. Fine. Click on search. So we are searching for it. So I will now put the price in both the places. Fine. Both in the masters. Fine. I will not go there. Anymore. I will not put a price in both the places. Go down or fine. You go to the specifications and then I go to the purchasing. Let me put a price of fine now. It must be a master control attribute, but uh, people have fiddled around and then changed it now. Fine? Because this price will be same everywhere actually. The fine. So the uh, purchase price is fine. Now. So go there. So click on save and close here. Click on the hyperlink on the child also. I will also put this place. So if it is the or control attribute, uh, attributes can be set at both the places basically. Go to the specifications, fine. Click on the specifications. <coughs> In the specification column, you go there. And then you go to the purchasing area, fine. Click on it. I will not go there and then put a price of it. So this is immediate actually. This need not be collected. Any changes in the attribute need not be collected at all. This price is fine. So click on save and close and it's all done. So having done these two things, what you do is you go and then submit it again. We had to submit it. So now the changes have been made on the item attribute. So go to the manage supply lines, select this line, and select the line which is having error, and then click on what? Resubmit actually. So it will now resubmit and then check whether it is okay or not. Then click on resubmit and now resubmit again. So when they resubmit it, whatever the error will know, whatever they go there, select it, and then we already done it now. So let us go there and then recheck it now. Fine. So I already resubmitted it. Fine. Click on it. I will now go on and check again now. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. But then the error should not be there at all. I'll make a search now. Fine. So once we submit it, fine. the error is gone. The error is gone. Move back. So the error is gone now. Fine. <coughs> that supply order is already closed. So these are the two things which are there now. Fine. We can now see 1 and 19 will be there now. That is all ours. Go for that. It is 1 and 19 is ours. That is already completed previously. So 1 and 19. So if you go there and then click on the hyperlink of the score number, both of them are having a common score number actually. Supply chain orchestration number, fine, come on, we'll not go inside. So error is gone, that means what? It has accepted this. So it was that. So the on hand is now reserved actually. We'll now have a look at the reservation actually, fine, with the browse items. We'll now have a look at the reservation now. So click on the star icon and then go to the inventory and then have a look at the reservation. The five, the one quantity would have got reserved actually, and nobody can touch it actually. You go to the place. I will now go to the spot, inventory overview. <clears throat> So here I can have and have a look at the reservation actually. Mm -hmm. So this item is now reserved for this now. So here it is saying what uh, in the managed supply is fine. One quality is reserved for this now. Fine. One quality. The 19 is in process now. Fine. 19 is in process. Fine. If you click on refresh now, fine. The purchase requisition has to get created actually. It's in process. Fine. If you expand it, it will not show you. Click on expand. 
if one, the two one when in requisition actually it will be in requisition if you go to the product information management and all that so i am already given the inventory overview <clears throat> in the inventory overview we can go on that see the reservation so we are going to inventory overview so here it shows what it is in requisition if you expand it to one is now in requisition actually if you go there so esco is basically an adopter so it will now sense the incoming demand and then it will now plug it into an appropriate output actually either my bake or transfer buy make or transfer in this case the buy now and click on the buy now the buy what happens it has to give an answer so it's not showing any here but you can go to the execution documents and then have a look at if you go to the execution documents you can now see that click on refresh now fine if you refresh it you will now find the execution document number so 204131 is the execution document for 19 quantities is now created actually for 19 quantities is already created actually we are having it so 204131 is the one so here you go to the inventory manager so click on it and then we'll now have a look at the reservation now fine over you know, go to the inventory and then have a look at the reservation picks so go to the manager reservations and picks and then see that the one quantity would have got reserved actually and nobody can touch it. Right? If you go to the what happens, item, right? the P50 right? underscore B, find right? your tab, your item. The whole item will be coming. Find right? make a search for this. So click on search now. So once when you search for it, it will not show on this org 001 org. We have a reservation available. No one show it. Right? Organization 001 is available. Find expand it. It will not show you the sales order number also against which it is not reserved. Actually, expand it. It will not show you the sales order number also. <clears throat> so give us an expansion. So we can now see the sales order number also. So it has been reserved against the sales order number 98414 line 111 upon one. So click on the now. Fine. Not <laughs> Go to this place. Fine. So one reserved quantity against the 20 now. Fine. 20 is the sales order number. Fine. You go to the manager quantities and then have a look at it. Here also we can see the reservation. <coughs> go there. It is a P50. Fine. Underscore B and then give a tap. So we are now having a look at it now. <clears throat> So in the on end, you make a search you now, it will not show you five quantities, but all or one quantity. So, but the entire one quantity is now reserved. Right? Then you select the line and then click on the view item availability. For other sales orders, it is not available. It is already reserved actually. Go there. So total is one available to transact for other sales orders. Um, available to reserve for other sales orders is Koji Mutai, Pujiyam, zero. No. So it's all reserved actually. So, so now what I do is, this is now collected, corrected now. Fine. If you go to the manage supply lines, we are corrected. So we will not try to query the 204131 here at some point. So we will not go on that. Try to what happens, query on your purchasing. I will not click on the home icon. <coughs> I will not click on the home icon. So the preparer for procurement is Calvin Roth, actually. So I will not go to the procurement now. I go to the procurement. And then I go there. I will not go to the Purchase orders. I remember on the profile we are now given fine by the preparer for procurement is Calvin Roth actually. So I go to the purchase orders. <clears throat> so that guy is responsible for interacting with the supplier actually for all those things. So go to the purchase orders. So click on it. I will now go to what process requisition. So process requisition. I will now go to the process requisition. So now the procurement view is not coming because he is no more a procurement agent. So we had to make him as a procurement agent first of all. But SEM 14, you had to make it. So we'll now go there. So click on stop and we'll now make him as a procurement agent first of all. Click on it. So click on it. You go to set up and maintenance and then come to the FSM area and then you go to the manage procurement agent task. So here it is not available. But what I can do is I can even go on the login as Calvin Roth and then do it. Now, fine. If you log in, you'll be able to give, he'll be able to see it. Now, fine. But I'm not teaching about how to do it here. Now, fine. If you log in as Calvin Roth, you can very well see on the process requisition area there is no count. I click on search. You go to the manage procurement agent. So manage percentage fine. Procurement agent. Fine. You don't want to make him as the agent now. Procurement agent. He's a buyer actually. Thank you. So he is a SCM 14 dot student as an employee, fine, which I with which I am working upon now. So go to the managed procurement agent. Other, let us know, make him as a procurement agent actually. So click on plus now. So here I will now put the BU now. I click on plus. I will now make him a BU. So this will now go into the Calvin Roth's login, but a buyer can even access others also. 
So you have one. You have one. Go that one. Age and name is what? Uh, SCM 14 dot student. It is a student. Fine, comma, SCM 14. Fine. There's a last name, comma, space, first name. That is the way you are trying it. SCM 14 dot student. Fine, last name, comma, space, first name. You are doing it. And that will not give the default as a DS1. Fine, go that. So manage requisitions of others. Fine, go that. Full access I'm giving it. So manage purchase orders of others. Fine, check on full access. Always give full access. Because in a company, you won't have too many purchase officers available. So every purchase officer will be having a full access to others' document, actually. Fine, make it. Fine, go that one. So this is the thing has pushed into Calvin Roth's login. Now this guy also can very well access it. Actually. Fine, we are given a full access. So Calvin Roth's document also you can very well access. Fine. Make him as a purchase manager. And you don't have full access to others' document, other agents' document. Actually. Access to other agents' document. Okay. Now go there, click on the now. Well, now again go back to this place and then look at the procurement. So click on it. Now go there. Click on done and then come on over here. You go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase orders. You go to the purchase orders. I am not logged in as ATM 45 or that point. <laughs> so you go there. Go to the process requisition. Now it will not show everything. So the requisition has been pushed into Calvin Roth's login. He can very well query actually because he has got access to other agents' log. So here I will not go there. Have a look at it. Fine. It is a 204131 is the one. Go there. So go there. 204131 is the one fine. Remove the buyer. Buyer is removed. Fine. You can now see the business unit here. Also, you can put the business unit and then click on search. So, a 19 quantity purchase requisition would have got approved. So, it has already been what happens? It has been done only for the Calvin drop. The requester is Calvin drop as per the preparer for procurement of the order management parameters. Fine. So, this guy is responsible, but I this SCM 14 not student is doing on behalf of him. So, if you go near to the IE now, fine, the IE will now say if you click on IE. It will say the requested goods are to fulfill the sales, customer sales orders, and nobody can touch it at all. So these 19 quantities, as and when it is received, nobody can touch it actually. So now this guy is now processing on behalf of Calvin Trot. Fine, select it and then click on add to document builder. So since we don't have any PRPU automation, we are now doing it manually now. Fine, click on add to document builder. So it comes over here. Now. It comes to the screen. And since I don't have any BPA, so we cannot put any source document. Fine, click on OK. So click on OK now. Fine. So by which what happens it will not happen. So it will now come to the right hand side on this now. We in, in our house, some puja is going on, so I can't control it actually. <laughs> so much of a noise is there. So, <clears throat> so go down off anyway. So click on create by which what happens the PO gets created. So this supplier has to supply to only our warehouse, actually. This supplier has to supply to only our warehouse now. <clears throat> it is not coming. So the PO will now get created actually. And then I have already set up the approvals as automatic actually. So the approval is automatic. So go there, click on it. It will now have a look at it. <clears throat> so since the approval is automatic, once when you submit it, it will now get approved automatically. So now the system is now creating a PO actually. The system is creating. And then the, the contact person is only Calvin Roth and not scm 14 student remember. So the purchase officer will be bearing only his name because we are now made him as a preparer for procurement actually. So the PO is now in the process of creation now. And then you will now have a look at what the approvals are. So since if you go to this place, I have already set up the approval. I will now show you the approval process now. Fine, I will not go there. So I will now click on it. Fine, right click on the duplicate now. Fine, I will now show you the approval process. So I have set it up to automatic actually. So the edit document is now still going on. So the purchase document is now created. US 164628 now. I will now say this. And PO number. Use US one six four point six two eight the one is the PO number. So you will not it. So if you go there, click on it. You'll not go to the placement. Manage document approvals. Click on it. You'll not go to the placement. Click on setup and maintenance. And then you will not. I have now set up to automatic actually. Go to the setup and maintenance. I'm not sure this. So click on it. I will not go to this place. So go to the manage document approvals. Fine. Click on search and then go to the generic area of the task search actually. Go there. Is that manage fine? Percentage fine. Document fine. APP percentage. So manage document approvals. Go to the way. Purchasing document approvals. Go there. And then I have set it up to automatic actually. So there were so many approvals have been set. I have disabled everything. And then I have enabled only on the term serial approval. This one has been enabled. 
then click on the edit rule. I now made it as one rule with the automatic action. And the rule fine, I created it fine, with, a, with a condition, uh, no condition at all. Fine. The rule always applies as the one I did it. And then the action type is what I get a add and then made it as automatic approval. So you make it such and then wait. After having done this, whatever you give a save and then click on deploy also. Deploy also right. So it must be enabled. So these are the setups on the automatic approval. I'm gonna cancel. So this is not fully done. Fine, go there. If you go to edit document and then click on the manage approvals, it will not say that the application developer has stopped. Since it is automatic, the application developer has stopped. And then we will not submit for approval. Since I have taken control from Calvin Roth, what happens is I become the buyer actually. Calvin Roth is no more the buyer because I am now creating the PO on behalf of him. So now the supplier will now get a PO with this is this as the contact person actually. So he has to communicate with him only, with me only for any activities on this. So it is now showing application developer, fine, click on submit, by which what happens the PO is now getting submitted. Now the supplier can go to supplier portal and then have a look at it also. Fine. The supplier portal also will show it to you. And then from that, he can very well create a ASN also. But in this case, ASN is not working. I have seen that ASN works for a dropship basically. And then once when you make a ASN, then what happens? The, the sales order progresses to what? Fine, what is that? One six four six four eight nine dollars. There's no submit for approval. And then the sales order progresses to shipped actually. Now what I do is I will not go on then uh, login as a supplier now. That is not happening. I don't know why. Fine. Somebody make an R&D. Hey Krishna, please make an R&D and then tell us. I will not go to the place. Fine. <clears throat> And over now, Krishna is an expert on this. No fine. So let me log in as a supplier. Actually, I'm going to log in as a supplier. Actually, so the supplier contact is what John dot about. Fine, he's the contact actually, and I already have it. And then I will say this is the password. Fine, John dot about is the supplier's contact. Fine, click on sign in because the previous exercise I already completed through him now only. So click on it. I'm not going inside. So this guy can very well see the POs which has been created actually. <clears throat> So once when the PO is approved, the approved PO will be communicating to him on his supplier portal actually. On the contact supplier portal, you can very well see it actually. You're opening it up. So go to this place. So click on the home icon. Now you go to the supplier portal. So click on the home icon. There, we are now going to the supplier portal directly. So go to the supply portal, fine, click on the supply portal, and then go to the supply portal. Now you can even go to the manager orders and then have a look at it. So what is the order he has got in now? So go there. Go to the manager orders. No, so click on the manager orders. No, no, no. Even on the info letter, also something will be coming that something is approved actually. <clears throat> so I go to the manager orders and then I will not query for this. No, fine, click on it. I will not go to that. The US 164628. Take a wait. Go to base. And here on the manage order screen, you will not query this PO number. So the PO number is this now. Paste it and then click on search, it will not show you this PO number. So the PO will be shown over here because by this time it would have got approved. We have submitted for approval now. Oh, the approval is still going on. He has not got it. So he has not even got actually. So it is not still going on. We will now go to the base system and then have a look at it. Go to the base system. So is the one now. So process acquisition fine. So click on done and then we will now query the PO number fine. Now see whether it is now approved or not. Click on it. We will now go to the manager orders in the screen. Fine. Go to the manager orders. So here we can very well see the approval now. So this is the order number now. Fine. Paste it and give it up. And then click on search now. This is the buyer actually fine. Because I already changed. Give me buyer actually. So it is now pending approval, fine. If you click on the hyperlink of it, it is now still undergoing approval. So the whole process is slow. Fine. Speed is the biggest problem in the vision instances. So we can't help it. And we have to live with the speed. So now you see, application developer has approved, a tick mark has come, and then the task is also completed. Fine. If you click on done, what happens? It will now go to open status. So it has already got approved. Now it will now go to the open status, actually. Now if you click on search, now fine, it will now go to open. And then this will be perpetually communicated to the supplier also. So in supplier portal also, we can very well see this PO number. So this is now open now. So let us now go to the supply portal. Here, I will now query for the order number. Fine, click on search now. Fine, you know how to So the order would have come to him now. It gets a perpetual communication to the supply portal actually, as and when it gets approved. He is now going, the supplier is now querying for it. And then you can very well see that 
PO number. Okay, the PO has come over here. Upper 19 quantity is actually. So it's working. <coughs> so well. now he will now create a ASN and the ASN is not working. I don't know why. Right. Where in the back to back order, ASN works perfectly. So the advanced shipment notice is going to create. Okay, click on create ASN. So he's not going to get it. Advanced shipment order is going to be. So go there. I will now paste the order number. Fine. Give a tab. Fine. Click on search. Fine. Just click on search. So for 19 quantities, you know, make a ASN for 10 quantities. So click on it. And then click on create ASN. I will now say whatever is it? Nana underscore 456 is the number I'm giving it now. Another. So I will now put the freight terms or something, the shipping method or something. <clears throat> Whether I'm opening it now. Fine. Number of packing units is three or four. Another. Bill of lading number is this. And then the bay bill number is this. The packing slip number is this. Fine. The packing code is this. Another. Special handling instructions, jingle account fine, tar weight, and not item. And then tar weight, the initial metal is about kilograms, fine kilograms. The net weight, everything is not putting up. Fine. Come on, you don't put it in. So, go there. so here, he is now going to create a ASN for 10 points. Now see. So, last time when I did it, it threw an error of a transaction process error. And RTP error, it showed up. But there was no problem at all. Fine. The work, uh, what happens, the receiving parameter of this organization is fully set. As well as the schedule is also proper, actually. Fine. The schedule will be giving a problem. Fine. Go there. So click on submit now. Fine. For 10 quantities, you're now submitting it. <clears throat> so he is now submitting an ASN for 10 quantities. So it's no threat. The RTP error is coming. If the schedule is having a problem, if the schedule is not properly set, fine. The facility schedule, then this error will come up. And then otherwise, what happens if the receiving parameter is also not set, then also it may. Happen. But I have a feeling that. Yeah, back to back buy, you, a person cannot create a ASN. Fine. I have a doubt. Fine. Somebody please, Krishna, please make an R&D whether uh, any other setup is required for ASN actually. Fine. From a supply side. Supply. So I'm not really sure. So I'm unable to create a ASN at all. Let us now go there and then physically receive it actually. No. Whereas in the case of a dropship, we cannot receive anything at all physically. We'll do one thing. I will not try to create a ASN from my uh, what happens the site is fine. We'll not go that close. From here itself, we will not try to create a ASN. So right click and then duplicate now. We will not try to create a ASN from the receiving area actually. We'll not see whether that works or not. Go to the place, fine. So click on the star icon and then you go to the inventory area. Click on it. We'll go to the inventory now. We'll go to the inventory over here. Let us not try to create a ASN from this place itself. Let's see whether it works or not. So click on the inventory. Go there. I will now go to the receipts area now. Fine. On the 001, I will now go to the receipts area. So go to the place, fine. I will go to the receipts. So here, let me create a ASN from here. Advanced shipment notice. Okay. Fine. Create ASN. We will now see whether it works here or not. So click on the create ASN. So go there. So let me first of all query the PO for which what happens we are going to create ASN. Okay. So we'll go there. So the PO number is there, fine. Click on search. It is not coming, fine. Go that. I will now create a ASN for this one. So I tried with the uh, whatever one number, no, fine. Select it and then click on create ASN. Go that. I will now say no, no, fine. 456 was there now. I will now say 457. Go that. So I will now say uh, all these things now, fine. Go they are not required actually. Nothing is mandatory actually. Showing whether you populate something. Mm -hmm. Nothing is mandatory actually. So go there. And then I will now fill up everything. Fine. Doesn't matter. Fine. You go there. So I will now say, let us say, now six quantities I want to get there. We will now see whether it gets created or not from our side. Fine. The supplier has now supplied from Simla. Fine. And then he has now sent a ASN. And then he is saying that the, the consignment will not take approximately seven days to reach you. So why don't you make a payment now itself based upon the ASN actually? That is what he is saying. Six is there and click on submit. So we are going to submit it now. You know, submit again. Again, an error is coming. So that means what? There is some other setup is required, or otherwise ASN is not possible for a back to back buy. Maybe. Fine. Same error is coming. So Krishna will analyze and then will not tell us now. Fine. And then if anybody else knows, please educate all of us. Now we'll now go there and then make a partial result. Now. We'll now make a partial result. You know Receive expected shipment of the one. Fine. We'll now make a partial result. So in this place, what happens? It is only saying that what happens? The one is available, nineteen is ordered. No, fine. Let us now receive ten quantities on this. So click on the receive expect. I will not go there. 
paste it over here. Now, fine, click on search. Click on search. Then no search is there. It was selected. Fine, go there. Click on receive. Fine, we are going to receive it now. So, click on receive. Click on receive. Okay. So, go to this place. Fine, go everything is fine. If you click on the show receive quantity, it will now say 19 is expected from the player, but he is now supplying only what 10 now. Fine, 10 you are going. And then, since the receipt routing is direct, we have to provide the inventory. Fine, go that point. I will now keep it on stores. Now. The submit is stores. Now. Fine, 10 is now received. Now. So, click on create. Receipt. So click on submit. We are now submitting it. Now the sales order will now get updated. Previously it was 1 and 19. Now what happens? 10 has been received. It will be 11 and 9. Now. So go there. So it will now become 11 on and now. Fine. And then 9 is awaiting supply. Chain. It will now become what? 11 and 9 actually. To go there. So click on refresh. Fine. Click on refresh. So we are refreshing it actually. So once I refresh it, what happens? It has to show me as what? Click on refresh. So it takes some time actually. It is not exactly immediately coming up. Now, if I try to ship it, now the shipment lines are getting split actually. It will now become what happens? This is not fine. 11 and 9 actually. So nothing else will be done actually. Fine. Once the receipt is made, it gets perpetually communicated back to order entry actually. And refresh, refresh, refresh. It takes some time for the order entry to see the stock of 11 actually. Now we will now go to the manage shipment lines and then here we will now make a search now. Right? This time the line is getting split actually. With the one quantity of on hand which is available, fine. That it, that time it was not getting split, but this time it is getting split actually. Enter it now. So expand it. Then I make a search now. Keep on search. No coming. No coming. Fine. Go to actions and then go to launch pick release. This time it is now picking the 10 quantity also. So the pick release is now launched actually. So go there. So click on save and close now. Fine. Before which what happens? We will now go there. So we will now go to what? Uh, receive expected shipments is okay. Fine. Nine is now expected from you. It doesn't matter. We will now go to item quantity and then have a look at it. Fine. Click on it. We will now go to the placement. Fine. We'll now go to the manage item quantities or we'll now go to the manage reservations and picks and then see now fine so previously one was reserved now 10 has been received now fine that. so i will now go to the inventory <clears throat> and then have a look at the reservation so you'll now go there so go to the manage reservations and picks and then have a look at it manage reservations and picks you know have a look at it so item is what p50 underscore b and then give a tab you know searching for the item and click on search so once i search for it the item will be coming so expand it and then see whether it has now become 11 or not, that is what I want. So out of 25. So the reserved quantity is 20 actually. Previously it was only one actually. Now it has become 20 actually. Once when you made a partial receipt or whatever it is now, fine. Somewhere other it has gone. So if you go there and then click on the sales order number, it has to become 11 and 9 actually. Fine. Click on refresh, you now see whether it has now become 11 and 9 or not. Yeah. So the order is not so it's not showing me fine whether quantity. So we already done. So I'll now give us save and close. No, fine, on. I already launched the pick release. We'll now see. But the line is getting split into two or not. This is happening. When I was having one quantity, it was not picking at all. Now the 11 quantities is now getting staged. The remaining nine are back all right. So the shipment number is created. So you click on the shipment number. So for the 11 quantities, I click on the shipment number. And then I'm going to ship confirm this. Fine, click on ship confirm. So we are shipping it. So in the sales order, this 11 and 9 takes some extra time. Now, fine, we're not coming immediately. Refresh, refresh. Go there. So it's not still going on. So you'll now go there. Click on it. Manage shipment lines. So it's now giving a warning. Accept this warning because weight and volume are not there. Fine, doesn't matter. So click on it. So fine, accept it. We go hard on this. Accept this warning. Now, what happens? Now, if you go to the monitor also, same thing. Fine, go there. So click on it. Now, fine, accept it. We go hard on this. Now, if you go to the monitor process, the SSA will be running now. If you go to the monitor process, and have a look at it. SSA is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution into order entry actually. So that will be running. And then always query on your number, not on, 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 on my number. So it will be easy. It will be fast, actually. Ah, it is not coming at all. The screen has become stagnant and then it is not working, actually. Now go there. So expand this. And then query on our SCM14. SCM14 is the one. Make a search. It will not show you all the concurrents launched by SCM. So SCM14 mm -hmm. is the one. <coughs> go there. Ship confirmation documents, everything is done. Then the SSA will run. SSA is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution to order entry, actually. 
And then that will now relieve the reservation also. The reservation also gets relieved actually once when the SSC gets completed actually. And then that will be the order will be line will be getting split for whatever we have sent actually. The order line will be getting split now. The ship confirmation document will be running now. So we are waiting for the SSC to run now. It's already there. The SSC is running here now. So SSC is running. So once when the SSC gets completed, you will now find that what happens. The sales order will be getting split actually because the SSA is basically is going to give you a billable line on the sales order right? that can be built very well the customer actually. So that can even be what interface to the customer. So click on it. Send ship advice is now running. So if you go there, click on it. You know, refresh it now. Right? So once an SSA comes, the line has to get split into two now. So 11 of a billable line is now coming in now. Right? Oh God, nothing is happening on this. Nine eight four one four the one. Right. Click on done, and then I know requery that sales order. So it's even not at all working now. I'm entering the screen is still this side stagnant actually. So go there, click on it. So now now go there and then have a look at it. So it's still showing you nothing is happening. So click on done and then come to the main area. So it has to get split. Okay? Even what happens the, the monitor process, the SSA is not yet completed. The SSA has to get completed. So once when SSA gets completed, it has to relieve the reservation fine. It's still running at you. So instance is slower. What happened? I don't know. So much of time is not taking. SSA is still running, running, running. So this is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution to order entry, actually. And then once when this is done. I have to see the change on the reservation also here. I will see the change in the reservation. We go to the month process and then click on refresh. The SSC is still running now. Right? We'll now wait for some time now. So the send shipment advice has got completed actually. If you click on refresh, it has to come as succeeded also. It has to come as succeeded also. Send shipment advice has to be succeeded also. <clears throat> <coughs> it is now succeeded. <coughs> you will not go to the manager reservations, then have a look at it. Find one. So click on it. So click on search now. And the reservation also has to get relieved actually. So click on search. Now you see it has got relieved by 20. It has now become 9 actually. Fine. 11 quantities. The reservation is reserved. So only 9 is reserved actually. And if you go to the manage orders and then click on refresh now, the line would have got split into 2 now. Fine. Click on refresh. The line would have got split into 2 because your billable line for 11 quantities has come now. Fine, it'll not go fine. So it is not shipped actually. The eleven line is not shipped actually. It's not going to ship actually. And then now uh, if you go and then have a look at actions and then go to switch to field view, and eleven line is not eleven quantities is not shipped. This is no back order because we don't have any material actually. So what is the case? Fine. Not happening. Fine. Now both things are having a different do actually. The wedding billing is now having a different do. So if you click on it, you will see the do is different actually. Both the do are different. That is no back order to you. So click on it. In the fulfillment area, we're going to see now it has got changed to 11 and 9 actually. So 11 goods is available and goods are partially available. Now it's 9. Okay? It was 1 and 19. Now it has now become 11 and 9. Only after a split, it is not showing up. So now 11 is now shipped and so because of which it is already gone. Okay? So let us now go there. Fine. So whenever any what happens, billable line comes into the into the sales order via send ship and advice. The sales order will now get split. So we can very well bill the customer for this 11 quantities. 11 quantities we can very well bill. So this is no back order. So let us now receive the remaining nine from the suppliers. Actually, now go there. I will now go to the what? Uh, we have to receive it now. And the supply lines. <clears throat> so here, if you give us the fresh number, click on the fresh. So you can see requisition created. The purchase order is also created. Fine. It's now reserved. Actually, it's not showing you. Fine. Now, ABC consultant. Fine. So purchase requisition now created. We can now see the purchase order number also find the purchase requisition number, the purchase order number, the receipt is also shown. So if you click on the orchestration process, it will now show you what happens to go there. So it is now requisition, purchase order, reservation. And then only when uh, do everything, then the complete put away will come off. And the nine quantities are still there. Not another. So out of 19 quantities, you can now see that what happens on hand is one. And then against this by 10 is now fulfilled actually. So 10 and 11 are full. One is what? One is there, and then 10 is fulfilled. So nine more quantities are balanced actually. No, so extra quantity. So now we will now receive the balance nine. No, what is the case? So right click and then duplicate. So we will now receive the balance nine. 
go to the place fine click on it we'll now go to the inventory now fine click on the inventory so we'll go to the inventory overview and then here we are going to receive it actually Inventory is there, fine. The inventory when they go there, check on it. So here I will now go to the results now. Fine, click on the results, and then we are going to make a result. Receive expected shipment is the one. They are not receiving it actually. So go there. We will now place the purchase order number and give it that research. So nine is expected from the supplier actually. So you know going to supply the balance. Select so tick and then click on receive now. And then if you click on the show zip quantity, it will not show nine is expected to supply. Fine, click on the show zip quantity, it will not show nine. And then I will now say stores, I'm going to remove it. Sub inventory drop down, I'm going to the stores. And then click on create receipt. So we can even receive part by part also. So the sales order will be getting split by split, and then of course it will be going on. So split. So it is not done now. So the receipt is now created actually. Is now, created. now we'll now go to the manage shipment lines here, whatever the, for the back ordered line now. Let us now create a shipment actually. So go to the place. I will now whatever the auto create shipment for the back ordered line. Because we don't have any material because of it is now done. So click on it. I will now click on the hyperlink of it and then I will now launch the picket list because it has already been received actually. So click on it. And then we will now launch the pick release for this now. Right? Go to the place. So go to actions and then go to what? Pick release. Now. And click on the pick release. So go there. It is now getting done. Fine. That will be picked because we must have material for launching the pick release actually. Fine. So we have material. It has already received in the stores now. Fine. Seven close. Now I can say it will be going to staged actually. So these nine quantities will be going to staged actually. So click on it and then refresh it. So click on search again now. So click on search again. It will now go to staged. So it is now staged actually. Click on it. Let us now perform a ship confirmation again. It will now perform a ship confirmation. Click on it. So we are now performing a ship confirmation by which what happens? It is getting shipped now. So that will be triggering a series of concurrence, out of which one of them is a send shipment advice, and that is responsible for interfacing your shipping execution to order entry. So the place. So refresh it now. The send shipment advice is responsible for it. And then once when that is done, what happens? The sales order will now go to what? Shipped and then finally to awaiting billing action. And remember, with the help of technical people, we can even uh, do whatever all you want to print on the pick release documents as well as the ship confirmation documents. And the very important one. So technical will help you based upon it. So whenever this concurrent runs, there will be printing a series of uh, papers basically. Fine. Some of the papers, like what I mean, the pick slip will be printed three, three copies. And the ship, some other thing, fine, uh, bill of lading. And then uh, your uh, vehicle load sheet, etc., etc., will be printed. And then uh, you'll be printing different, different copies. Everything will be coming up in this picture. So the send shipment advice is now running now. And then we'll now wait for this to complete. Now. So once it is completed, we can now see the sales order line. The second line will now go to ship and then finally to awaiting billing action. Send shipment advice is running now. Now wait for it to complete. Now. So the send shipment advice has got succeeded. And then if you go and then see the marriage reservations, there won't be any reservation at all. The entire reservation got relieved actually because we have already shipped the product actually. You go there and then make a search now, and that will be nothing at all. So you won't have anything at all. And nothing is there actually in this place. Number. So everything has been shipped. If you go to the manage orders and then click on suppression of it. So the second line, the back order will also would have gone to awaiting billing. <clears throat> it has gone to awaiting. Both the lines have gone to awaiting billing. Mm -hmm. So now we will have to run the auto invoice import. And go click on the monitor process. And then we'll, it has now landed up on the interface tables of AR actually. Awaiting billing is nothing but interface tables of AR. You go to that point. I will now go to the schedule new process and then import order invoice. Import order invoice. Import order invoice is the one I'm going to write. So this will now bring the data from the interface table to the base tables. That is the import order invoice the one. I click on OK. So once when you import it, the line gets closed actually. Both the lines will now get closed. You're not going to import it. So go there. So the business unit is what? Years one. And then give it a coming. 
So the transaction source is a distributed order orchestration or fine. So once when you put a business in it, it's now coming something, fine, whether drop it on and then choose the distributed order orchestration actually. So the distributed order orchestration one, which is so go to the place fine. So I can even put the customer account number or something like that from customer to customer. There are so many options which are available now. So to reduce it, what happens? We will not put the sales order number. So the sales order number is what? Uh, we will not have 98414 is the one. So go to the place. 98414 is the one. So we will not run only for this concept. So by which what happens? The import from the interface table to the base table is not going to run now. It will not bring the data into the base table. The wait for it to complete. So upon completion, fine. There's no some fine. Close it now. No. So the import is running. So once when the import gets completed, fine. You have know, order invoice. So this will now what happens? Inform the feeder system. The feeder system is order management. So it will now communicate to the feeder system that I have successfully imported it. Actually. So once when it communicates to the feeder system that it has not imported. So the line gets closed actually because once the line is closed, the activity of CSR is complete. The CSR, the customer service representative who has to discuss with the uh, customers, uh, negotiate the pricing, everything, and then finally book the order. And then once when it's shipped, and then once when the invoice is created, his activity, his responsibility is seized. It will not go, it's getting closed actually. So we'll now wait for the order import invoice complete. So once when it is completed, it will also what happens a trigger a, what happens a, informing to the feeder system actually. So import order invoice is now completed, and then it is now what happens a triggered what notify feeder system of the receivables transaction actually. So once when this is done, you can now see both the lines are getting closed on the order. You can now see if you click on done now fine, both the lines will be getting closed. It is no more awaiting billing actually. The lines will be getting closed. So the work of what happens, the CSR gets completed upon line. So go there. So click on the of line. So once when it is completed, you can now see the line status is closed actually. So what he has to do is he has to close all the lines and then finally he has to close the header also. So in every day evening meeting, he will be telling how many lines he has closed. That means what? His activity is complete actually. And then whatever is not closed, you will not tell, sir, it is in manufacturing stage, it is in the shipping stage, and all those things are coming. It's not coming as a build, actually. Fine, it's not build. And then finally, it will not go to closed, actually. Click on the now. In the build, it will not go to the closed status. No build. And then finally, it will not progress to the last state of closed, actually. And then in the supply orchestration also, we can now see this one. In this place, what happens? You go there. If you go to this place, fine. It will be fulfilled, actually. If you go there and then have a look at the front, click on fine. The status will be fulfilled, actually. The scores responsibility is to fulfill the customer's needs. No point whether uh, what is this cancel thing? I don't know. So click on reflection. Mm -hmm. so 19 point. It is not one is fulfilled. This also has to get fulfilled. I don't know what is the thing now. Purchase requisition, purchase order. Sign it phone for the one. Thank you, contraption. Oh god. This is I good and understand. Fine. It has to go to fulfilled only. Fine. There are so many people who are fiddling around now, fine, because of which what happens? Something has happened with these execution documents. I don't know who has done what. No, fine. Inventory is available, it is not showing you. Fine. Inventory is available. And the 10 quantities inventory available, 9 is also inventory is available. And then finally, it has to go to what? Not cancel actually. It has to go to as what? Fulfilled actually. So click on done and then have a look at it. No, re -query. And then this is one is fulfilled. This also has to come as fulfilled only. And click on search now. Search. The record is locked. Oh God. So many things are happening on this now. <laughs> if you go further, further, here itself, the status has to come as what fulfilled actually. Hmm. Nothing is now showing here. Now. So click on this number. That means the record is locked. What happened to the record? Anymore? This place. So the supply order has to be closed actually. And upon closure, it will not become one of them. It will not be getting closed. So in the manage orders, if you go and then click on refresh now, the line would have got closed. Both the lines would have got closed. So both the lines are closed. Now what he will do is the this guy will not go there and then run this now. So he will not uh, headers. He will not close now. He will not run this one. Fine. Update find uh, percentage find close. Find the better. Update close sales orders. 
So you will not run this concurrent or this will be run on a periodic basis. So that whatever uh, closed line is coming, automatically it will be doing an update of closed line. So let's make it one okay. <coughs> update of closed years orders, you know, running this now. So once when I run it, what happens, you'll be running it for the header actually, you know, like, header H E A D R H is capital, and then you'll not say immediate, fine, you know, that. no, do not wait for four hours, call you take zero, zero, and then click on submit, and then which, what happens, the header gets closed. So his activity is totally closed on the particular sales order. So close it, fine, you know, that. refresh it. Now we have to pay the supplier also. Right? We have to make a payment to the supplier. So you now go to the payables and then make a payment to the supplier. Also. Update of close orders is not running. So you now wait for it to complete. Now, fine. Once when it's completed, you can now see the header is also getting closed. Right? So you can go to space. Invoice is also created. Fine. Click on top of the comment. The status will now go to close. Right? <laughs> wait for the multi process to complete. So it's still running now. I'm going to wait for it. So in the meantime, what about you know, go to the payables area and then you'll not make a payment. Go to the payments area. And click on it. I will not um, go to what? Payables now. Fine. Go to the payables. Fine. Go to the payables. And then here, I will not go to the what? Invoices. And then let me create an invoice. Also. In this place, you find where you are given. You find the PO number. The PO number we can now see on the execution documents. You find. So keep your cursor on the second line and have a look at the execution documents. So the PO number point of the US 164628. So for which whatever you go there, we'll look at an invoice. So go to the create invoice. Look at an invoice. So we'll now query on this number. Since it is vision, everything is fully set, and so the integrations are all perfect. Actually, you go there and then click on refresh. Now, fine, it has to get closed. The line, the header, now header is also closed. So the lines are closed, the header is closed. Fine, his activity is not complete. You now go to the invoice area. We will not create an invoice. Fine, even the AR invoice is also created. So we know, but how to process the AR invoice by creating the bank branch and other things? Go ahead. We now put what? Yes, one six four six two eight. Yeah. It must show you the PO number. So, what is here's one six four six two eight is the one. So, through which whatever you go and choose it, everything will be coming automatically. It is for 19 quantities at 95 dollars. It's five dollars each actually. <laughs> so, we'll now go there and then we'll now create a invoice for 95 dollars. So go to the place fine. I was gonna say one thousand one is the one fine the amount. So it is I don't know how much is the tax actually for Seattle. So the system will now calculate and show you. So 95 plus taxes actually. Fine. You go and then match it and then obtain it. Fine. Click on the arrow mark. So we are now going to match it and then obtain the results. Now fine based upon which what happens will now get the distributions basically. So it's now coming from that. So 90 is there, fine. Select it. Fine. We'll now put the entire quantity now. And then it's coming from that. So click on apply. Fine, go there. So ordered is 19. Available for payment is 19 actually. Nothing is built actually. Fine, click on apply. And then click on okay. By which this activity is now complete now. So the lines distribution is now getting created. And then it will now also add the taxes. So we have to add the taxes to the header actually. So give us save now. Click on save. So now see the taxes are going to be added. 90 with the total amount fine. So if you give a save one. So once when I validate, I think the taxes will come out. So taxes are not coming. I don't know why. Because Seattle has to have a tax actually. When Seattle is a system one, system one is running. So go there. Not you go to invoice actions and then go to validate. Okay. Validation. While well, validation, I think it will not add the tax. I'm not sure about it. Why the taxes is not coming? Because we are ordered only on a systems location only. <clears throat> We are received in Seattle, and so whatever it has to pay, it has to calculate the taxes actually. Fine, it is now getting validated. So once when it is validated, it becomes eligible for a payment actually. Needs revalidation actually. So it needs a revalidation and go there. Now go down now, have a look at it. So see, along with the taxes is 104.03. So along with the taxes actually. 
So we will now correct the header actually. 104.039. So 104.03 is the total amount. So click on it, click on save now, right? I will now revalidate it now. So go to invoice actions and then go to validate again now. Now it is matching actually. So we are now matching it to <coughs> So along with the taxes, it is now coming as 104, 104, The header is also matching. So it has to get validated. So it is now validated. It will now go there. It will now make a payment in full now, fine, pay in full. Click on the pay info. So we are going to make a payment to the supplier actually. So pay info. So we have the bank accounts, everything ready-madely available. Fine, go to the account. Don't go to the place. Account. Drop it down. I will not choose what? BOFA, Bank of America. The payment process profile. I will not go and choose it. Uh, I will now say the standard check format is the one that is available now. So standard check format. Standard check. Uh, I will not say standard check all currencies there now. I will not choose all currencies from there. I will not say remit account. Drop it off. I will not choose the remit account. So these things will be taught in the financial stream. I will not come in. So the payment document. Whether the stub will be following the check or not. Fine. How it is going to be done. They have a ready made check available from the account. The payment number. So click on submit. Which will happen. The payment gets processed. So we are not crossing the payment. So this is after the withholding taxes actually. Right? Something is withheld. So one not three point something is there. Fine afterwards, but we are not only paying this much. So the withholding tax is now getting applied upon this on this everybody. So the payment has been created actually. You now go that point. You now go that point. Everything is well done. Now finally, what happens is we have to go on then do the accounting now. By the way. So we'll not do the accounting in draft, and then finally <coughs> we will not do the credit accounting in full also. We'll not do the accounting in draft actually. So once when the accounting is done in full, we can even transfer it to GL and then do it. Now. So accounting is complete actually. If you click on the view accounting, I will show you over there. So the draft accounting is not a final accounting. So the final accounting will be done with the payable team. Fine, they will not do it. And then once in a week, they will not do it. So this is the amount now. So is the accrual is this much, the liability is this much, fine, or we have to pay this much, not recorded. All these taxes are not shown here. Fine. The credit side also is not showing you over there. So the withholding tax is 10.4 now, and 10.4 is the month. There's a withholding tax. Don't come. So the accounting entry for this issue. So by which we are now paid to this. So this completes a full cycle of a back-to-back -back buy actually. And again, fine, you will not be able to do this in such a clean manner now, fine. So your instance must be good. Fine. If you are getting stuck anywhere, you better switch over to some other instance and do it now. And then uh, you follow my way, at least what happens there. You will be able to succeed you now. Fine. Two times full collection, and then uh, drive the do with your own uh, do now. Fine. With your line type, you drive the do so that what happens? You won't get stuck anywhere at all. That way it will work. I hope that this is very clear now. Fine. So if you are uh, succeeding on this uh, back to back pipe, please uh, post in our group that I have succeeded now. Fine. I'll be very happy to see your note now. Fine. Because you have taken a lot of efforts now. Fine. So work for around three to four hours continuously, and then do it now. Fine. So that what happens in one go, you can complete everything. Great number. So bye for now. Namaste. <clears throat>